Hi, I'm Thesia Ellis and welcome to Grandma's Homestead. All right, today we're going to do something that I almost never do. We are going to cook from a box. But my whole series is about cooking from your pantry and my and my theory on it, if you're cooking from your pantry, you're basically cooking with things that are shelf stable. All right, our water is going. Let's get our macaroni in here. Give it a good stir. We got a timer set for 10 minutes. And we're going to let that go. All right. The timer is off. It's time to strain it or drain it. Okay, now we're going to drain it. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick I've learned. We've got this pan here. It's not been heated. We're just going to throw it in the bottom of the pan. The heat, the, the heat is off. I guess you can put it on low if you want it. Now we're going to take the noodles and pour them back onto it. This will heat up the meat. Now we're going to squeeze this gooey stuff in here. Now I'm going to stir it all in. Like I said, this is strictly from the pantry. The cheese is already done up for you. The macaroni, you got to heat up and stuff. And why do I worry about that? What if you get into a prolonged time where you can't use electricity and you don't have a refrigerator to put cheese in? Or just any way to keep anything cold or, or, or whatever. If you now we've got a we've got a stove that runs on propane and uh, so I can cook cook on it I guess I'd have to figure out how to start it because it does have a pilot light and stuff you know the electronic stuff but that's it guys dinner's ready and it's not great yummy but that's not half bad either so this was a quick one this evening but that's that's good too but like I was saying, my whole focus of, of these videos is to teach you how to come up with some ideas on how to cook with things from, from just your pantry. Like I said, we'd like to do spam here, and I like to make homemade macaroni and cheese. I don't do any box stuff with that either, but we, ha we got that from the box. In fact, Kenzie's already come through and already scooped her up a big old bowl full of it and eating it, so obviously your kids will like it. And like I said, that one with the chicken, is, uh, you know, you can use canned chicken and uh, and buffalo sauce some sort of hot sauce and stuff and mix that in that would be good and of course obviously this is not from the pantry but if you have hamburger meat or bacon or anything like that you can add to it that's good too but um, I was just going to show you something from the pantry so I am looking for some more recipes Tim uh, Cook has uh, started with some of you guys have sent some recipes uh, to him for the book uh, cookbook of the collapse I'm getting those together it's going to be a while, but um, send them to either uh, Tim at his email address or to myself at ThesiaEllis at gmail.com, T-H-E-C-I-A-E-L-L-I-S at gmail.com. And uh, what I'm looking for is stuff strictly from the pantry. Also, somewhere down the road, I would like to learn how to cook with food that you've already freeze dried and how to reconstitute and make those into a wonderful meal also to the best of our ability without fresh eggs without fresh cheese without fresh milk and meat and all that other stuff and so that you know like we said there's a cookbook of the collapse and what, and what I'm going to do is we're going to get these cookbooks together and, and, and uh, get these recipes together and get a cookbook put, put together somewhere down the road so send it to us give me some ideas thank you very much God bless I'll see you next time